have a, let's have a look at the the bitcoin chart because bitcoin is the leading indicator in the crypto world right so we're going to have a look at that indicator now so i'm going to switch this to one week time frame okay because that allows us to have uh you know you can see in the if you look at the weekly close of bitcoin it closed lower than it opened okay so last week it opened at uh um twenty three thousand five hundred and it and it closed at twenty two thousand four hundred okay so and it had a spike you know it had a spike of uh twenty three thousand five fifty six sorry twenty three thousand nine hundred ninety nine almost twenty four thousand okay so last week bitcoin almost got to the price of twenty four thousand dollars per bitcoin and it went as low as twenty one thousand nine eighty eight. Yeah, twenty one thousand nine eighty eight. Okay, and uh, you know it opened at twenty three thousand five hundred and fifty six and closed at twenty two thousand four hundred and twenty four hundred thirty two. Okay, so that is a minus of uh, a minus of minus four point seven percent. Okay, so in last one week now. Bitcoin has dropped by minus 4.77%, okay, within that one week, because this is the weekly candle, as you can see right here on the screen. So, um, unfortunately, it opened, the, the, the new candle, the, the new weekly candle actually opened lower, okay, it opened lower than the previous one. So, that is an indication that there is still some sort of bearish momentum in the markets, okay. Some bearish momentum in the market, and it has, it has already crossed this moving average. Can you see? Okay, it has it opened outside of this uh, moving average. Okay, and that is uh, an indication that the market is still bearish. Okay, and uh, it's kind of forming a flag. Okay, it's kind of forming a flag right here, as you can see. You know, forming a flag. Okay, and this looks more like. Uh, a kind of um, bearish flag if you look at this on the weekly time frame okay on the weekly time frame so i know having a look at bitcoin you know bitcoin is bearish as you can see now let's have a look at the index market the dollar index markets um dxy markets okay so we're gonna go to stocks you know let's go to funds sorry sorry about that so we're gonna go to dxy Okay, dollar index, and if, as you can see, okay, um, dollar index is kind of is kind of um, bearish. Also, it is showing a, a kind of bearish momentum. And if you look at this trend line that is here, it's been broken. It has already broken this trend line. You know, for some reasons, the DXY you know looks to be you know to be bearish. You know, looks to be bearish. Although it is still above this uh, moving average for now. Okay. So until it's able to actually drop below this moving average, then that will actually confirm, you know, the bearish of the DXY. Okay, so if DXY keeps going down, okay, there could actually be a relief pump on Bitcoin also. Okay, but if this level is holding, if it you hold at this level, which is uh, 104, okay, if it's able to hold at this level, then trust me, okay, then um, the other 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 financial instruments will actually face some obstacles okay like they could actually go down they could, they could actually pump <coughs> okay really if it should go down okay other financial instruments actually have some relief okay but if it should go up from here then they will have a kind of um, um they'll be stressed kind of okay they'll experience some deep here and there so i have a look at that you know let's have a look at the for what is happening in the forex factory okay Let's have a look at what is happening in the forex factory okay um if you look at this you know throughout today okay there is no major news on usd okay there is factory orders okay but that's not really a significant news okay there's a factory order but that is not a significant news so let's have a look at um march what okay tomorrow really um Fed Powell, Powell is going to be making some statements tomorrow 
and that statement is actually something that you need to put on your calendar okay that's um tomorrow that is for tuesday on wednesday okay there is adp non-farm employment change okay there is, a, there is a, a couple of a couple of high impact news you know throughout this week okay i think okay tuesday wednesday you know take note of that and also um wednesday thursday about friday okay then there is non-farm employment change unemployment rates so unemployment rates will be discussed probably on uh you know on on friday okay so that's an high impact news you know in the in the global market so the forecast is 3.8 percent the previous was 3.8 percent okay so if unemployment rates is lower than this okay then there's going to be a relief pump in the market okay that's going to be a good a positive signal for the economy okay so that's what that's one thing about um the unemployment rates okay so there's a couple there's a couple of news or for usd you know for us dollars you know throughout this week a couple of news like one two um three three okay which, which other one again three um you know i'm talking about high impact news i'm not going to count all of these as high impact news so you had three you know three then four five six six okay um six seven okay Power will be talking probably tomorrow seven so we have seven high impact news on on um usd you know for the next you know for, for the rest of the week okay so that is something you need to actually put into consideration while you are you know you are trading so on some of these days when you have like two high impact news you need to you know you need to move your stop loss accordingly okay accordingly so when you have a look at that then yeah, let's go to coin market cap okay when you go to coin when you go to coin market cap and you click on this you know the coin market cap they can see some um some level of deep like in the, in the in the last few days the the coin market cap has actually dropped you know a few um billion dollars you know all the way from more than 10 trillion 1.1 trillion to 1.02 so we've lost over over 80 billion dollars has moved out of the market in the last seven days as you can see right there from this chart okay so also when you look at the bitcoin dominance okay it seems to be you know it seems to be going up okay from 42.1 to 42.3 percent okay so and when bitcoin, when bitcoin is dominating the market then you should pay attention to uh to factors like altcoins so altcoin could actually you know dip when the bitcoin dominance is is increasing so what it means you know what dominance means is that funds you know money 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 is moving from other other cryptocurrencies to bitcoin that is the essence of the dominance okay money is flowing so if the if if the dominance on ethereum should increase from 8.7 percent to let me say um 19 percent or 19.1 percent it means that money is actually flowing from altcoins but bitcoin also you know as long as bitcoin remains the same and there is dominance there is increase in dominance on ethereum so what it means is that uh, money is flowing from other altcoins to ethereum so if there is a drop in bitcoin dominance and there is a drop in the altcoin dominance then there will be an increase in dominance on the, of, the, of ethereum so money is flowing from every other cryptocurrencies then into ethereum but that is a that is that happens in a very rare occasion okay in a, in a very rare occasion so that is one thing you need to put into consideration look at the volume okay the volume is dropping steadily okay the volume is dropping okay so the charts you know the chart of the volume and the coin market cap they seems to be correlated so in the last 24 hours in the entire crypto market experienced 20 uh, about about 29 billion volume in the last 24 hours okay so let's go back to the home page of the of the market you can see you know seven days performance of cryptocurrencies across the world we have um 4.3 percent here you have four points you know, minus 4.9 percent drop here okay you have um six minus six points one 6.51 percent here 3.15 percent eight point see um, Cardano actually dropped a whole lot. Okay, so 
if you look at this, you know, recently added coins, you know, and um, trade trending, you know, coins that are trending right now, you know, we have uh, um, Terra Luna, you know, is trending based on the volume, I guess. Then you have um, GMT, which is statements also. So 24 hours performance, you know, BMD, BMD, BNB dropped significantly, then Ripple dropped, you know, Cardano, um, Dodge, you know, all of these top cryptocurrencies actually dropped, you know, their volume drops. And this seems to be the IS gainers recently, the recent IS gainers, you know, you can say uh, CFX, this is which is Conflux, you know, Conflux, I think it's one of the top Chinese projects and it gained some significant value, you know, although it's dropped by 12 minus 12.8% 12 in the last few days. So synthetics, I mean, synthetics, you know, increased in value, okay, it's enjoying some decent pump here and there, okay, that makes a lot of sense, okay. And um, the volume is massive, you know, there is volume increase, you know, the market cap is growing, you know, look at the market cap right now, <clears throat> more than half a billion dollar right now. So that is really huge. That is really huge. Uh, synthetics, you know, moving close to one billion dollars. Okay, Ethereum Power, ETHW, also enjoying some significant pump here and there. Okay, so uh, Tonchain, Tonchain has been actually moving like a stable coin. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> So when you look at the charts, let me go, let me switch to crypto. I will type ton. Okay. Like it's really been stable, sort of. Can you see? It's really been stable. It has not, it has not really been enjoying a big movement. So I'm going to switch to one day. Okay. If you look at the daily candles also. Okay. Look at the daily candles. Like it looks like a coin that is easy to predict. Can you see? Okay. Easy to predict. So I think I've done um, a couple of technical analysis on this coin before. Okay, and how to trade it and make profit from that. Okay, so the market, you know, seems to be having a bad hit. You no, know, market seems to be having a bad hit in the last few days. Okay, um, but you know, a lot of traders are actually. Uh, let me let me have a look at. Um, uh what's it called the fear fear and greed index okay the fear and greed index no there, there is a there's a specific website for this is this is this zipmex or alternative.me either of them <coughs> alternative no it has to be alternative.me let me go back to fear Fear and good index. Okay. Then alternative. Okay. Alternative dot me. Alternative dot me. Yeah. Yeah. That this is the website. Okay. Then you can have access to, you know, the index. So if you scroll down, you can see that this is uh, yesterday it was neutral. Last week it was neutral. Now it is still at the neutral range. Then last month the grid it was grid. You no know, people were grid last month. So the next update will happen in the next six, sixteen hours. You know, sixteen hours for the two minutes. The next update, the next update will happen. You know, on this. So now if you look at this, you know, it's an indication that people are becoming scary in the market. Okay, people are becoming scary. People are becoming scared gradually. So it is, it is moving towards, you know towards the fear side of you know of that index that indicator it's moving towards the, the the fear side okay so people are becoming less greedy and what that means is that when people are becoming less greedy okay um it means that the markets could actually bounce up because people are becoming scared so if you know when people are you know when, when, people, when people are fearful you know in crypto world when people are fearful that is the best time for you to become greedy to start buying gradually okay so you need to start scaling in gradually because people are becoming fearful in the market. So these are things you have to pay attention into. Okay, these are things you have to pay attention into. So be fearful when the grid is high. Okay, when the grid is high, be fearful. And when the when there is a fear in the market, then that is about time to be greedy. Okay, this this is this also works for. Um, 
uh, Bitcoin. This is for Bitcoin, not for other crypto coins. This is for Bitcoin only, okay? It doesn't apply to other other coins, please. So you have to take note of that, okay? And as you can see, you can see that there is um, a Bitcoin, you know, on this indicator. Okay, there is Bitcoin logo on this indicator. So that shows that this is only for Bitcoin, not for Ethereum and not for any other cryptocurrencies, okay? So when you look at this, you should know definitely that it's it's a good thing to look out for, okay, in the market. So this week, okay, if you want to if you want to buy some cryptocurrencies that you've been watching out for, that you've been looking out, you know, probably you have some cryptos on your radar or your watch list, okay. This is about this this is the week that you should start scaling in gradually. You, know, you should start scaling in gradually, okay. Um, also, when you look at the the charts. Okay, when you look at the charts, okay, um, there's some point that should actually, you know, be in your radar. Points like GMT. Okay, GMT should be in your radar, kind of. So if you look at GMT, you can, you can see that it's actually been enjoying a, a steady dip, really. It's been enjoying a steady dip in the last few days, okay. So, um, but if you look at this, this should be an area of interest for for most traders, where is it? No, not this. So this should be an area of interest for for most traders. If you look at this level, okay. If you look at this level, okay. This is um uh, this is a support level for a while, you know, and it's fast becoming another support level, as you can see, you know, on this chart. Okay, so this should be an area of interest for those who still believe in um what GMT has to offer. Okay. What GMT has to offer. So, and if you go to Coin Market Cap now, okay. So when you see a coin that is trending, you need to have a look at, you know, and check out things that are working for them. Okay, I'm going to go back to chart and see that the volume is building up consistently. You can see the volume is gradually building up. So go to Coin Market Cap again. Okay, Coin Market Cap. You can see that. Uh, let me see. There has, could also be an event. Let's have a, let's go to Coin Calendar. You know, Coin Market Cap. Coin Market Cap Calendar. Yeah, Coin Market Cap Calendar. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. But that may not only really give us. Um. What? I would prefer to I would prefer to use coin market calendar you know that is more advanced than using uh that relying on coin market card you know so you can see a couple of events a couple of events right here you know better you know probably better for for what you know for this for this project shanghai on really you know uh public beta you know 19 upcoming events as you can see right here uh, you know let's see if there's any news about the gmt if there's any news about gmt maybe a token unlock cb5 nft space max global listing for red lights okay same houses finance okay this project has certainly been around for a while same houses seller Okay, um, token listing, token bond, BRN token bond. Okay, okay, there's also another website that tracks token unlock. Okay, let me try and see if, if, can, if I can get that. That tracks token unlock. Okay. Uh, let me check out that website. Let me let me check it out. Okay, because we need you need to know if there was going to be any token unlock on GMT. Okay, we need to be aware of that information also. Okay, okay, token dot unlocks dot app. Okay, let me check out the website real quick. Okay, so you can have a robust you can have a robust information about the crypto market for this week okay let's go to token unlock 
Token dot unlock dot app. Is it dot app or dot apps? I think it is dot app. Let me check. Unlock. Token unlocks dot app. This is the right URL. Okay, the other one will actually mislead us. Yeah. So you can have access to points that will be unlocked. Okay. So let's check, let's check, let's check, let's check, let's check. Unlock events. Tornado. Tornado will unlock, you know, how many token, you know. You know total locked is, total locked is at 9.5%. They will be having unlock 1.4 billion. Sorry, 1.4 billion dollar will be unlocked. That is 1.8 percent of the entire supply. Let me check. I want to search if, yeah, I thought as much. I thought as much. Okay, I thought as much. So <clears throat> there's comes down in the next 25 days. There's going to be another round of unlock. Okay, there's going to be another round of unlock on GMT. Okay, and that will be like 210 thousand dollars, you know, per day. As you can see, you know, from this. So, I, you know, I was suspecting that there will be some unlock events on GMT. So, if there is an unlock event on GMT, um, all you have to do, you know, is to position yourself. Okay, is to position yourself because uh, this unlock with events will actually uh, have impact in the price. Definitely, it will have impact in the price. Okay. So you need to pay attention to all of these news about talking unlock. So uh, if you're watching this live now, you can always try and bookmark this website. Okay. You can always try and bookmark this website because it's going to help you a whole lot. A whole lot. A whole lot. Okay. So let me see if you have any question, any updates. Uh, you know, perhaps you have something you'd like to ask me. You know, um, Jay Rashi. 114 says hi what's up Jirashi? how are you doing today okay how are you doing today so you need to also you know when you're trying to analyze the markets you don't analyze the market in isolation okay you don't analyze crypto market in isolation you have to look at unlock events that will happen okay like this coin now you know gal you know if you want to trade gal now yeah, okay it makes sense okay it makes sense to open some short positions okay because you can say this is 0 0.1 percent on lot in the next three days so the market could price in okay it may not really dump as you expect it to dump but the market could price in okay um when market price in it's what it means is that people will be expecting that it to dump okay and some and some traders want to sell their position okay because they are you know they are having that mindset that this um girl coin will dump okay so and by the time it's, it eventually dumps that is when the market that is when the price will begin to recover back so it is just like a self-fulfilling prophecy that we talk about in crypto so um it's like uh the market will price in before the actual event will happen so when the actual event now happens then it doesn't have much significant effects on that coin okay so that is the essence uh let me see that is the essence of checking token unlock unlock event it is quite important okay and you should always try and pay you should always try to pay attention to it don't ignore it okay don't ignore it so after looking at that uh, you still need to check out some we need to check out some news that could impact the market. Okay, news that could impact the market. We have to check them out, right? Okay, let's see if there is any news. Um, Twitter strikes at the Wall Street Journal over still allegations of fake document for bank accounts. Okay, all of these are news that could actually impact the market, and you have to read what they have to you know. What they have inside of them so snowball reveals as co-founder of the three powered live stream platform okay what we three powered live stream platform okay well that's good for him the binance tried to hire gary gessler 
in 2018 for closer ties with U.S. regulators. Okay. Uh, internal documents reveal Australia's potential timeline for crypto legislation. That's a report. They have U.S. STX, you know, show bullish signs as Bitcoin searches for direction. Okay. So, um, sorry for spreading the rumor, says Podcast Podcaster on Lido's food. All right. Okay. So, um, Bitcoin prices faces last stand as weekly closes threatens 22,000 to test. Yeah, that is possible. That is really, really possible. So, Bitcoin price will test 25,000 without Silver Gate Saga. Yeah, Silver Gate Saga actually affected, you know, um, the crypto market. It was a it was a powerful fundamentals, you know, way too powerful to be ignored. It cannot be ignored. So that is it. It cannot be ignored. All right, it cannot be ignored. Okay. So Russia and Ukraine, how both sides of the conflict have used crypto to win? They can blockchain help combat climate change. Well, I'm not sure about that. Okay, so some these are some of the news that you can actually read. Okay, some of the updates, some of the industry update that you should read, you know, um, and combine them in order to have a better outlook of what is going to happen in the crypto space, you know, for the next, uh, for the next few days, you know. So you have to pay attention to that. Okay, don't ignore the news. Don't ignore the news. You know. Uh, let me scroll downward a little bit. Scam. What about that? Binance launches anti scam campaign after Hong Kong pilot run. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, because when you launch anti, anti scam campaign, then the fight will be examined at inaugural CFTC Tech Advisory Meeting. Okay, Uniswap wants to launch mobile wallets, but Apple won't green light its launch. Okay, but why on heart would Uniswap launch a mobile wallet? It doesn't make any much sense to me. Okay. You cannot be, you know, why are you trying to do so many things at the same time? Okay, so consists, you know, ZK EVM set for public test nets to deliver secure settlement on Ethereum. Okay, so these are news that you should pay attention to. Okay, these are news that you should pay attention to. Okay, so I think you now have a better understanding of what to expect in the crypto market in the next few days. Okay. Um, the crypto market is cloudy. Okay, the market is cloudy. Um, nobody should be, you know, nobody should be expecting a sudden jump. Okay, nobody should be expecting a sudden, a sudden jump. Um, and personally, when I see a coin that pumps without good fundamentals, I will be going to the market to short them one after the other. Okay, of course, with you know reasonable stop loss. Okay, I will go to the market to short them one after the other but with good stop loss okay so because uh should there be there should there be a relief you know a slight pop on dxy you know that crypto markets you know and forex markets are going to be in trouble okay so uh and also the silver gates saga is not out of the space completely okay so so take note of that it's not out of the space completely and um, the Bitcoin dominance seems to have increased a little bit, as you can see. Okay, it seems to have increased a little bit, all the way from um, um, 42.1 percent, you know, now to 42.3 percent. Okay, so that's an indication that um, some of the all some of the altcoins will actually, you know, dump. Okay, that's it. Some of the altcoins will actually dump. So, you know, all the all the news I've shown you, all the fundamentals I've shown you, you know. I even the chart says that this market this this week is not really going to be a bullish week, okay? Because there is a lot of news that could actually suppress, that could actually suppress the bear and so the bull sentiments, okay? Whatever bullish sentiment that you have, there are a couple of news that you watch out for that could suppress, you know, the buying pressure, okay? That could suppress the buying pressure. So take note of all of these things and I hope you enjoy today's live stream. Okay, so if you're watching this now, okay, make sure that you follow me on OB first. Okay, follow me on OB, that's important. Okay, and join my community. 
Okay, follow me on OB and join my community. That is important. And um, another thing I want you to do, okay, is to go back to my profile and watch all of the previous videos I've done. Yesterday I talked about how to become a crypto a crypto YouTuber. Okay, how to how to launch a successful uh, crypto YouTube channel. Okay, so I think if you are if you're a content creator or you're going to be interested in creating content, you should definitely try that out. Okay, so watch the video. Uh, and also, if you are active on YouTube, um, I'd like to invite you to my YouTube channel. Okay, it is going real fast. It is going real fast. So all you have to do to join my community on YouTube, all you have to do is really simple. Just type crypto niche on YouTube. Type it crypto niche channel on YouTube and hit the enter button. Okay, when you hit the enter button, okay, then it's gonna take you, it's gonna take you to this page. Okay, on getting to this page, you can see some of the videos that have been uploaded to the channel. So you click on this or the icon. Okay, you click on this on the icon, then you subscribe to that channel. Okay, subscribe and turn on notification bell. Okay, um, if, if you go to videos, you can see some of the past videos I've uploaded. You know the uh, you know videos that make sense to you that will actually have massive impact to your life. If you watch this specific video here, you can be making one percent, two percent profit every day. You know trading crypto. I know I share that strategy right here. It is way better than crypto arbitrage. But this is better than crypto arbitrage. So the, that secret is right here in that video. So you are also new to cryptocurrency. In general, okay, there is a playlist that you need to check out. Okay, where is the playlist? You know, a beginner's course look at this a beginner's course so view the full playlist the full playlist view it okay and check it out can you see you know all of these videos will actually make you a better trader like it's going to open your eyes to those things that you don't know about crypto okay so it is for beginners it is for it is beginners friendly okay so subscribe to the channel and turn on notification bell okay so and also if you are active on on telegram all you have to do is to search for uh, let me all you have to do really is to search for at crypto niche. Can you see that underscore hang out? There is S hang out. Okay, then it will bring out the channel icon, the channel image. Okay, then how do you know it is crypto niche? So click on that channel. You can see close to close to eight hundred subscribers now. Okay, it is fast growing, fast growing. You can see. Yesterday, I I did I had a voice chat with community members yesterday, you know, and I dropped some updates right here, some updates right here. Okay, you can see this is how you can know that okay, this is the true channel, not the fake one. Okay, so be a part of the channel, you know, and learn from the update I share. Okay, like this guy now, a smart trader, you know, this guy actually took the um, the trade the trade calls. Okay, I dropped the trade call on this channel. And he took that call and he made some profit from that, you know. So, um, this is it. This is I said I'm short. I'm shorting with 3x leverage, you know. Like I decided to shorting. I I began to short euros at this level, okay. And I made some profit of that. Okay. So when I when I see a good setup, a good signal, I like to share in this Telegram channel. So all you have to do again is to search for ads, at crypto niche okay underscore channel okay then it's a good it is pop up because it, it is a public channel so if you're watching this on youtube okay I'm, I'm going to be sharing the link to that channel in the video description or in the comment box and to be pinned to the top of the comments okay so that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed this live stream so i'm going to be seeing you guys tomorrow okay so bye for now and have a fantastic week